your man, your best friend, your best man at your wedding, Peter <laughs> He's, I mean, what, what has he technically done? Is he techni- I suppose he's technically now out of retirement. And is he, what would he be? Is he fourth, fourth choice keeper or is he just hanging around in case something happens? Or what's, what's the go? Fill yeah. in the blanks. I think he's number four at the moment. And, and it's more to do with the fact that he's not, he's not, he's, he's training, he's doing all that sort of stuff, but he's not actively looking to play in that team. Because, you know, and, and the thing is, I, I spoke to him um, two weeks ago and he was talking, we were talking all about lots of different things, talking about Mendy as a goalkeeper, Kepa, um, and himself training. And he just was saying that he felt so good. He felt that, he said to me that, had he known that having time off, he would feel so good, he would have only had six months off and wouldn't have retired. Mm. And he, he actually believes he's fit enough and strong enough and good enough still to play in the Premier League. So it's an interesting one because he's caught in two, two, two sort of jobs at the moment. And at the moment, Chelsea is obviously there as, as a sporting director, head of high performance. Um, and, and that's his number one role. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if an opportunity came along that was of interest to him. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw kind of check coming back out of retirement and playing somewhere. Elsewhere. So you're saying not just appear randomly in a Carabao Cup game for Chelsea. You think maybe... Yes. Ooh. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised. Jeepers. I mean, that's... That wouldn't be a shock to me at all. So I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it would not be a shock to me if that happened. Where, where's um, his level, do you think, then, in that case, if he was to come back? From my understanding... He was better than, than the Chelsea keepers. I mean, this was before Mendy arrived at the club. He was performing and training better than the Chelsea keepers. Mm. On that, he, he's number two, but he's not because he, he hasn't played games. He, I know he's kicking the ball further than he, than he did towards the end of his career because these injuries, these problems that he had with his, with his ankle and various parts, his calf and that, they were hindering his, his, his kicking game. So apparently he has no problems with that anymore at all. He's kicking the ball as far as he did. All from six months off or a year off, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So he's been working hard. He's been playing ice hockey in goal uh, or goal in, in goal for ice, playing ice hockey. He's been doing lots of other fitness um, stuff, keeping very, very fit, doing lots of gym work. And he is, now you see in the last couple of weeks, he's been training with Chelsea on the football pitch. So what, what goes on there? Do they have to rejig his contract? Or I don't think so. I think he's on a non playing He's on a non-contractual uh, contract, non, non-paying contract, I think, because he's being paid to do the sporting director role. Yeah. I think that might all change that if he had to play. Yeah, then it becomes a pay-by-play kind Possibly. of contract. Yeah. Fascinating. So then, okay, if, if Mendy's injured for a cup game, uh, do you start Kepa or do you start Czech? I think he has to play Kepa because if he doesn't, it'll, 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 it'll kill him. Yeah. And you know, they've got to seriously consider the, the financial investment in him. What do they do with him if they don't play him and then all of a sudden he becomes number two num- or number three, sorry, behind Petr Cech, That is pretty low. Mm. And I'm, I'm, that's no disrespect for Petr Cech. That is just, I mean, you know, the guys should be at his prime, hasn't performed that great. And it just shows you that he, although definitively his career is finished and done with at Chelsea, it may well all be, already be. And Chelsea may decide, you know what, it is already. So we'll do what we're going to do and we're going to pick the best team. Um, but I think at this stage, I think they'll still play Kepa.